Hello and welcome to another episode of The Zoo. My name is Alf Awaila and with me today is Simon Geddes, who's going to explain what a connector is. Uh, before we jump into that, I want to give you some background on what a connector is and what the topic is and, and why Simon is the guest today. Uh, BMC Software recently put out a new solution called MyIT Service Broker. This is a service app store that federates various sources, various catalogs, both internal and external, into one single service app store. Now, rather than our customers building their own connectors to these different sources, these integrations, uh, we are building a library together with developers and partners. And this library will grow over time and more and more connectors will be posted there, making it easier for our customers to connect to whatever solution they want to bring into the service catalog. Thank you, Simon, for joining the zoo. And maybe you can illuminate those a little bit more than my high level version of that. Uh, a connector is some kind of light integration. Is that correct? Yeah, basically a connector is uh, it's, it's a, com a component that allows uh, my IT service broker to communicate to any fulfillment set or fulfillment system out there, such as Ariba, Oracle, Box, Flexera, and, and so forth. And does it have to be IT related sources? It could be anything like Expedia or American Express. Exactly. It's it's both IT and non IT related resources. You can basically go in there, order your trip, or be able to order your desk. And how do I build this connector? Do you have any SDKs or tools or platforms I should use? Yeah, so we have a program built built around there with uh, introductions and SDKs and, and, and actual support on how you get these developer uh, how you get these connectors uploaded into the system. The skill set that's required for is, uh, is is Java, and they'll probably take about a month to develop, just really dependency on the complexity of, of the actual connector. What what makes a connector more or less complex? Uh, for example, if you, if you took something like Box, that's a relatively simple connector. Uh, it requires a, a name and an email. Um, it's able to take that information, pass it over to Box, and uh, provision that account pretty pretty straightforward. I think we can all understand that. But something a little more complicated would be something like Flexera, uh, where you would need to do license checks, uh, find out what machines that, that uh, user has access to, what software they're going to provision, and, and so forth. So you, to some degree, are connecting data and make sure it is pulled all the way over to the MIT service broker. And then on the same time, you have to have it by modals. They have to go back there and, and talk. Is it a two-way connection or is it just one-way connection? Two-way. Uh, so you're, you're really, you're, you're, you're engaging through a portal. Uh, you're able to request uh, uh, some type of service through, through my IT and BMC's case. Uh, you're able to find that, request it, fill out a, a question, a questionnaire more or less. Um, add your name and email and, and so forth. That information is then passed down through service broker out through the actual connector and off to the, the actual fulfillment system. Now, and then, then it's fulfilled and it comes back and says, congratulations, your uh, account's been provisioned and away you go. Sounds very easy. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, like you use Box and I'm sure it works with others. So, but what if I have an old system? I mean, what if I have a BMC SRM, for example? Um, it, is does this work with every type of system? What what does the system that I want to connect to my T service broker have to be able to do for me to build a connector to it? It has to really just only communicate through uh, APIs to our APIs in, in our system. So that's what the connector is. It's basically a, a the component that's able to communicate between the two systems through APIs. How long have you been working on this uh, this connector layer and 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 program around it? Service broker, which involves connectors from the beginning, has uh, I, development started about a year ago. Uh, the actual planning probably fifteen months ago. There you go. Okay, so it's it's still coming around. And yeah. you done you done beta recently? I understand. Yeah, we released beta uh, back in October. Uh, then uh, G eight near the end of October, and uh, and. Uh, we're, we're actually releasing the service pack here any day now. Okay. Um, if I'm a developer and I want to participate in this, uh, what's the benefits? What, why should I build a connector for BMC's service broker? Why, why, what was the benefits to me? 
it's access to the systems that you have. BMC has, uh, it was just released the other day, 9 million uh, end users. If you're able to get your connector in there talking to your system in front of 9 million end users, that's pretty good exposure for your, your platform. Yeah, so it's, it's a way to promote your solutions, your innovations, and to, it's not only 9 million end users, but it's like 15,000 companies and 80% of the Fortune 500 or something. Exactly, with, uh, with, within uh, Service Broker, there's actually a, a marketplace tab. Um, so you're able to go there and see any type of connector that's been procured uh, from BMC or contributed from your partner network. Uh, so, so there's and it's all it, it's done up with all the meta language and the tags and the the videos and and, and and all that type of stuff that really helps market market your product. So, if I buy my IT service broker um, and I want to start to federate my various sources like the SRN catalog, I might have HP Propel plus I have some outsourcer and I have a Dell hardware catalog, for example. Rather than building connectors to each of them individually, I go into this marketplace. And hopefully there are connectors to these sources there. Pre-built connectors will 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 be there, uh, and you're able to easily go in there, click on them, and install those connectors within your environment, and have that connection to those fulfillment systems or or importing systems. Okay. Um, over the next year or so, how many connectors do we expect to see in the marketplace? Uh, five, a hundred? What type I'm of? Hoping, I'm really hoping that we're there around a hundred. I, uh, I, I'm hoping that's the that's the, that's that's the goal, and I want to be obviously be be beyond that. We're currently recruiting developers and so forth to concentrate. There's efforts within BMC to promote these things, so we're hoping upwards of a hundred will be there. And is the is the program if I want to join today? Is the program open yet, or is it what when is it launching? It's in beta right now. Um, you would have to reach out to uh, some of the program people here to get you uh, uh, added to the system. But uh, I, I, the, the official launch will come out uh, next quarter. So if I use ping you on Twitter at Simon Geddes, um, you can hook me up with Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Great. Uh, thank you so much, Simon. I'm sure there's other questions that our developers have, but as they um, find out more about this, um, they hope, hopefully the interest will rise. Thank you so much, Simon. Talk to you later. Cheers. Thanks, Al.